Today I'm going to show you how to make a push stick for your table saw and uh, this is a design that I've used for many years. I think it's really super easy to make and uh, of course this uh, is just a 7 16 piece of plywood and it has a hook on the back here so you can push the wood through uh, along your fence here. Uh, I'm going to make mine a little bit longer and a little bit taller. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is cut out the plywood. I have some scrap right here and then I run this along the table saw just to cut a little bit of a groove here, turn it over, put another little notch right there and then finish it off with a uh, handsaw. Then you sand this down on the top here for a curve for my palm on my hand and then it's done. So let me show you what I've done. Okay the first thing I need to do is cut out a piece of plywood that is 10 inches by 4 inches. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cut out this bottom notch right here, and I'm going to, I want this to be a half inch uh, of a notch in here, and I want this to be a one and a quarter inch uh, hook right there. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is measure one and a quarter inches for the back, and I'm going to measure on both sides. And mark both sides. I've got the fence set at three and a half inches and I'm going to run it through here and I'm going to get fairly close to the line but you'd have to be careful. Remember uh, your blade is curved of course so if you're cutting close to this line here with your blade on top it's going to be curved and it'll be way back here. So I'm going to stop uh, a good inch before I get to the line and then I'm going to trim out the rest of it with a handsaw. Uh, I'm going to flip it over and just give a little bit of a notch so I have a straight edge to start with my saw. and. We should go from there. It should be fine. So, three and a half. Right on the line. Got lucky. Alright, so this is set at one and a quarter inches. I'm going to raise the blade up just a little bit and have more, uh, or less of a curve, I guess, to the blade. And I'm just going to start it just to notch it so I know exactly where to start my hands off. Alright, the next thing, put the board in the vise and I'm going to trim out the part that I didn't cut off with the table saw. And because I marked the line, I know how far to cut down. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of a curve on this board to make it more comfortable when you push on it with your hand. 
And um, if you want to freehand it, yeah, that's one option. But here's another idea. I have a variety of lids that I keep uh, to mark curves on boards. And so what I'd like to use, you can see I have a variety of sizes in here, but I found this one. It's already squared off and the curve not too drastic. So I'm just going to lay that up here and mark my board and we'll go from there. Next thing, I'll just give it a little bit of sanding all around, take off the sharp edges. And there you go. Okay, so here's my old one, and here's the newer one. Uh, and you can see the reason I wanted to make a bigger one was because it's a little bit taller, it keeps my hand a little bit farther away from the blade, and then it's a little bit longer, so as you're pushing it past the blade, it gives you a little more pressure on a longer piece of the wood that you're cutting. So, there you go. Well, I hope this gives you some ideas on the things that you'd like to build, and if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up, and as always, please leave a comment or a suggestion. I really appreciate that. Take care. Have fun. Thank you.